Good morning, dear students. A very warm welcome to the E class of English. Today, we will learn about an important topic of grammar, that is, determiners. We will also understand what they exactly are, why they are used, and different types of it. So, let's get started. Determiners are words that are used before a noun or a noun phrase to determine whether it is specific or general. Determiners are basically divided into seven types. Let's have an example of each type to make you understand. First, articles which are words like a and the. A and an are indefinite article and are used when we are talking about the general version of the noun. For example, a book is man's best friend. Here we are referring to all the categories of book and not any specific one. So A is used here. The is a definite article and is used when we are talking about the specific version of the noun. For example, the Bhagavad Gita is one of the holy books of Hindus. Here we are referring to specific book which is Bhagavad Gita. So, the is used here. The next category of determiners is demonstrative. This, that, these and those are called demonstrative. They can be used both as adjectives and as pronouns. They point towards something or someone. They also answer the question which one. For example, this is my pen. This pen is mine. These are mere excuses. Those are my dresses. This and these refer to persons or things near the speaker. That and those refer to persons or things far from the speaker. The third kind of determiner is possessive. The words my your, his, her, it, are, and they are possessives. They function as adjectives or pronouns. Possessive adjectives come before the noun they refer to. For example, this is my car. And possessive pronouns are placed after the nouns they refer to. Example, this car is mine. The fourth kind of determiner is quantifiers. Quantifiers determine the approximate number or amount of the plural nouns. Words like some, any, much, many, more, little, few, less are quantifiers. For example, she bought some butter. Would you like some coffee? Have you got any problem? The next category of determiners is distributives. Sometimes considered as quantifiers, the distributives also refer to a group or an individual within a group besides indicating the amount or number. Words like all, both, one, each, every, several, most, enough, other, another are distributives. For example, all the boys were absent. All that glitters is not gold. We both went to congratulate them. Could I have another cup of coffee. The next kind of determiners is numerals. 
numerals perform the function as a determiner when they appear before a noun to express quantity or sequence. The cardinal numerals 1, 2, 3, etc. express quantity. One kite, two pens. In the same position, ordinal numerals 1st, 2nd, 3rd, etc. express sequence. Second row, first winner, etc. The last category of determiners is interrogatives. Which, what and whose are the words that determine a group or a specific thing by inquiring about them? Which determines a specific thing? For example, which book do you like the most? What determines a general thing? What books do you like to read? Whose inquires ownership? For example, whose car is it? That's all about determiners. For a better understanding, Practice worksheets related to determiners. Thank you children. Happy learning.